Okay, well, this is going to be a fun one. I've already done a test, and it, I get a lot of wobble. So, uh, it's going to be interesting, to say the least. So, you may see a bunch of boo-boos, but we'll see what happens. Let's see what we can do. Wish me luck. Alright, so I was able to redo the, re the recess, so I'm going to touch up the edges again and see what we can form up here.
it's time for sanding. All right, so to the point where I'm going to do some sanding to get the outer side all done and sealed up. So I'll keep going for a little while while I'm sanding, but I'm going to go from 60 all the way up to probably a thousand. Uh, but we'll see. I may stop sooner. I may go further. So we got the sanding down to 600, um, and it's really solid and smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on 600. I'm going to throw some sanding sealer on it and uh, see how it looks. <clears throat> It's looking like some of the knot areas are soaking up the, uh, especially this one, soaking up the sanding sealer pretty good. So I might have to definitely, might have to definitely. I will probably do a second, maybe a third coat, especially in those spots. Oh, let's get some of this excess off. All right, here we go on the insides now. Let's kick it. This is going to turn out pretty nice. Hopefully it doesn't warp too awful bad. Still some moisture, but it's not like terrible.
Yeah, I knew those ends would probably start coming out. This one did. <clears throat> so, it'll, leave, it'll end up looking nice, even if this little small piece comes out. Alright, I'm going to have to go sharpen. Alright, we're back. And sharp. Okay, so like what I was saying earlier, scratch that. I'm gonna have to cut this. We're gonna just start it all over again. All right, where we're at now is I let this sit overnight. Last night I worked a good amount of the inside of the bowl here. It still needs a little bit of work. Uh, when I came out this morning for a break, I took and I checked, and there's a couple of you know drying cracks because there was still some moisture in it so I went ahead and I used some CA glue you really can't see too well um, but the key, these two spots and you know right here I added some CA on the outside even though that I used sanding sealer on it already I can still go back in and uh, you know scrape a, a light layer off to one take care of any of the warping because after something's been cut and there's still moisture in it to a point until it regulates to your room there's going to be some warpage so I have a little bit of warpage in it since it was a solid block of wood yesterday um, so now there's some warpage I'm going to take and I'm going to take a layer off of this outside I can still do that to get rid of the warp take care of the uh, CA glue and then I'll probably go back into the inside and start sanding that so once I get more batteries charged up for the uh, camera and I take care of a couple more things we'll uh, come back on and we'll get this layer off and then we'll get to sanding so see you then okay I don't know how much time I've got left on this battery before I got to replace it however uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start the sanding on the outside I was going to take and skim a layer off using one of the uh, lathe tools but I'm gonna give sanding a try most likely this will die while I'm in the middle of sanding so sanding is very exciting so I figured if it dies it'd be okay so let's get it to it
All right, we are now moving into the sanding sealer phase for this. We've got the sanding done, the shaping, getting the wobbles out. So now we've uh, I've took and sanded all the way up to a thousand grit, and now I'm getting ready to throw some sanding sealer on it, and we'll see what it looks like. Sanding sealer's in, it's set. All I'm gonna do is buff it out. I've already buffed out a little bit on the outside. Now for the inside. <laughs> 